Okay, hello everyone, it's Michael here from Custom Bike Fit. As you can probably see here, I've got a Trek Speed Concept, um, one of the rim brake models, a bike I, I really love. I rode this myself for a number of years, and I always found that, you know, the, the, the drawback of this bike was the cockpit. And um, anyway, I had a client in for a fit last week. Uh, we sorted out the issues he was having with uh, his seat position, uh, and, and the trouble that was causing him. And I showed him some of these Fast TT one piece carbon aero bars. He fell in love with them and he's decided to go ahead and purchase. We're going to fit those today. So I'm just going to take you through um, the operation of doing that. These are the parts we need two of these, um, these aero bars. Um, we're going to use the Fast TT angled adjustable block. So this block. Uh, will give us some height but also more importantly some angle and uh, this uh, is adjustable from 10 to 25 degrees we're going to go 15 degrees to start and a mono adapter plate so basically we're going to take off these arm cups we're going to take off this uh, mono extension and then we're going to place an adapter plate across here and we're going to build from there so uh, the first thing I'm going to do is remove all this stuff and uh, I'll show you as we go along Okay, so I've removed the, uh, the hydration system or the, the, uh, the cage from between the bars. I've removed the armrests and I've removed this uh, cap here or cover um, which sits on top of the stem. And I've also taken out the, the SRAM shifters or blips, whatever you want to call them. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to undo this. I'm going to take these bolts out and what will typically happen then, there's, there's there's two nuts attached to each, well, a nut attached to each of these bolts sitting inside this riser. And what I expect to happen is that they will fall through and then I'll have to undo the bolts on the base bar. But um, let's see how we go. All right, I've been incredibly lucky because they haven't fallen through, which is awesome. Um, I'm going to replace this piece, this, this sort of rocking um, uh, plate and uh, that will keep my mono adapter plate nice and straight so I'll pop that adapter plate on and show you okay this bike has been really well maintained um, I've been able to just push this or wind this little grub screw down to keep this rocker plate I don't know if that's the real term or the technical term for it or the track term but it's my term so that I can keep that horizontal and then I'm going to put my uh, adapter plate, my Fast TT adapter plate on top of that. Yeah, in trying to, um, you know, tighten that up, that, that uh, nut, if you like, has dropped down. So I'm, gonna, I'm going to go underneath the base bar and, and release all of this. All right, you can see now I've got the riser off. It's just here. And that's going to help me to... Um, construct the front end. I'll put the, um, I'll put the adapter plate on here, tighten that up, just finger tight, and then I'll put the, uh, the riser back on and we'll go from there. Okay, this was fiddly. So I've got my adapter plate, or my, yeah, my mono adapter plate, Fast TT, attached to this um, spacer or riser for the speed concept. I've used the bolts that came out of here, you see, I've put a washer underneath them. But in here, I've taken out that grub screw completely and this, uh, this front bolt, if you like, I've got two washers packed under there to keep this adapter plate horizontal, all right? So now I'm gonna place this back on the base bar. Okay, so the mono adapter plate is on and um, secured to the base bar via the riser. I'm going to talk this all up later. But now what we'll do is we'll put on the, uh, the angled adjustable block. I'm going to set it at 15 degrees and then we'll put on the aero bars. I've mounted the client's water bottle on, the, uh, on this riser before putting on the, the uh, angled uh, adjustable blocks and the aero bars just to get a, an idea of spacing. He had his, or he had his arm cups fairly wide apart and what I'll do is I'll bring the arms together. So I'm going to go with this outward setting to start off with. We can obviously move things and um, he's got his 
uh, junction box sitting under here as well, so it just gives that some clearance as well. Um, just make sure when you're doing this you put some grease in these um, before you put the bolts through. Uh, yeah, we, just, we tend to sweat at the front of the bike, so that's important. Okay, as you see, I'm putting on these, um, these adjustable blocks, more grease, okay. What I've done here, I've got one on this side, is I've set this to 15 degrees. All right, we'll see how we go with that. And I'm tightening everything here at to six Newton meters. What I'll do with the bottle cage, I just thought about this, that's gonna have to be reversed. He'll pull the bottle towards him because we're gonna have a Garmin mount out front. We'll check that, but I'm, I'm sure we're gonna have to turn that cage around. All right. So I've mounted these adjustable blocks and I decided to, I did to the trial run with the aero bars on and I've decided to move them in to that midpoint. You can see there's three points you can fit them on this uh, adapter plate. And now I'm fitting these mounting brackets, which are really smart because you can, you can change the angle. All right, so I'll have a play with that. I'll set those both and we'll get the aero bars on. I also flip that bottle cage around. Okay, so my bars are on. I've used four bolts each side. Again, six Newton meters. You can see these are on a, a 15 degree angle. And now I'll just put the shifters back in, route the cables, and put this cap back on, tidy everything up. But it's looking good. Okay, just a note for anyone that's going to obviously install these at home. Um, what I find with the SRAM blips is this hole is just a tiny bit tight. So I've just, I use a, just a small round file, very gently just open that up a little bit. Just, it just takes a tiny bit of filing to open that up so you can pass the cable through properly. Bars are on. The only thing we need to do is tidy up some of this cabling under here but I'm going to wait the clients coming in tomorrow and I'll do a final fit with him just in case I need to move anything I'll I won't worry about the cabling till then but as you can see it's a nice solution very clean it is a bit fiddly but fiddly in the way that you can make lots of minor adjustment and um, I think the clients going to be really happy with the end result of this. I know I am. I hope he is too. Okay.